day two at the NACRA 17 World Championships in The Hague, Netherlands, with the last day of finals before the top ten compete in Saturday's medal race. The northerly breeze of 10 knots provided great racing conditions early in the morning and as the teams warmed up just before the start. The French Besson and Rio hold the lead going into the day's racing, with Great Britain's Saxton and Diamond following seven points behind. Will they both manage to maintain their top performance and lead? The first race of the day found the Brits in the middle of the line on an excellent start with the Italians Borro and Banti starting at the pin end and heading to the left. Same for the Swiss team of Bula and Brugge that were a few metres behind. The Italians Cibello and Retamea were on top, neck and neck with Saxon and Diamond. However, it was another Italian pair of Bizarro and Sicuri who advanced past these two to round the windward mark first, leaving Besson and Rio in third with the Brits on a close chase. Not such a good performance from the Swiss team of Bula and Brugge and Vera and Ordiner who failed to predict the favourable right side of the course and had a long haul to recover places. Not a lot of things changed during the downwind with most of the teams preferring to sail to the shore in order to benefit from the current. During the second upwind, the Italians were still on top with the French pair of Besson and Rayor chasing, both opting to take the more favourable right-hand side of the course. The majority of the fleet also chose this side once again due to the strong current and to the breeze that was blowing near the shore. The end of the race found the French stealing the bullet from the pair of Bissarro and Sicuri, with the Italians giving it their all right through to the end. The other French team of Vera and Ordinaire had to compromise with an 11th position, but still two places in front of Bula and Brugge. Immediately after racing, the weather changed with a fast approaching storm and the heavy rain forced the sailors back to shore. Let's catch up with the British pair of Saxton and Diamond who talk about their performance today. We had our second race of Gold Fleet this morning. Uh, it was again quite light, like eight knots or something. And the wind was really difficult, like it was moving around all over the place. So um, it was a really tricky race and uh, the fleet became spread out really early. And uh, we managed to get a good start, get away and uh, then we were quick so we had a good race finishing third uh, which we're really happy with and then after that we looked really set to just get another race in like the wind built a little bit but there were some thunderstorms building over the shore so the race committee sent us in now uh, because it's as you can hear thunder and lightning and uh, it's now raining so yeah uh, I guess we're gonna wait for these clouds to go and then go and do our last race of the day all change as after the heavy rain, glorious sun returned and a nice eight knots breeze appeared. Time for racing then. Bula, Saxton and Besson had an equally good start at the second race of the day. However, it was the Italian pair of Sorrentino and Rina Oro who finally scored the bullet with the Swiss finishing second. Let's have a look at the final results. Besson and Rio are still in the lead, but the Brits are now only three points behind. So, stay tuned for more action tomorrow.